What is going on everybody? It is your boy Hobo here today and as you can see we are playing some Madden NFL 19. Today we are going to be breaking down the NFL's week 7 matchups and we're going to kick this thing off by starting that A. You might notice I'm not playing on Xbox One this time. I'm playing on PC on Max Graphics and this game looks pretty crazy even though it's not in 4K so I'm going to give EA some credit there. And then next up, let's talk about the teams on their buys. We have the Steelers, the Seahawks, the Raiders, and the Packers are all on buy. As I give up a huge play right there. All right. And because this video is coming out so close to kickoff time, guys, I'm going to be giving away my predictions like uh, the Giants give away football games. So let's start this thing off with tonight, October 18th, 8.20 p.m. It'll be the Broncos and the Cardinals. The Broncos have won eight of their last nine versus the Cardinals and uh, the Cardinals are two and or the Cardinals are one and five excuse me Broncos are two and four and uh, I like the the Broncos better in this matchup I think that Case Keenum is a very good quarterback I think that it's just the turnovers that really have limited him and his unit from becoming a good solid offense and I think that they'll finally find their groove a little bit against this porous Cardinals team whose defense you know is really all over the place and their offense can't find a, their their footing so I'm gonna take the Broncos in this game next up Sunday October 21st it'll be the Titans and the Chargers the three and three Titans against the four and two Chargers the Chargers have a top five offense and they'll be facing whoa there a top five defense in the Tennessee Titans and I like the Chargers more in this matchup because their offense is so explosive, so I, I'm, I'm going to take the Chargers in this game, even though I'd like to pick the Titans, but I, I just cannot, you know, can't go against my gut on that one. So I'll take the Chargers here as, whoa, they try the trick play, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Next up, it's the Patriots and the Bears, Pats at 4-2, and two, Bears at 3-2. and two. This is going to be a huge test for Khalil Mack in that defense. And, uh, of course, Mitchell Trubisky and his quick strike lethal offense and you know what I like the Bears I really do I think the Pats defense is just too bad and I think that Khalil Mack and his unit there on D are really good so I'm gonna take the Bears in this game surprisingly and I think that it's gonna be a huge upset so I'm gonna label Bears over Patriots as my upset of the week next up Bills Colts both these teams are bad but the Bills are less bad I'm gonna take the buff a low Bills in this game. Next up, Titans, Jaguars, or excuse me, Texans, Jaguars, both teams at 3-3, three and three. and uh, the, the Jaguars defense looking porous, to say the least. They got dunked on by the Dallas Cowboys, who were just absolutely one of the worst teams in professional football, in my humble opinion, and uh, I think that the Jaguars will lose this game, and the Texans offense will get back on the right track. Next up, Lions, Dolphins, 2-3 and three Lions, 4-2 and two Dolphins. Dolphins, you know, <laughs> they I don't know how they pulled that game out last week. I really, really don't know. And what a freaking punt. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, great, great game played by the Dolphins last week. Epic, epic game, epic finish. But I'm going to pick the, the Lions in this game. I don't know why. I just really like their offense. I like Matt Stafford. I think that um, they'll kind of, you know, get on the right track as I collect the first two points of the game on a safety. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Lions in this game, and I think the Dolphins, they, they'll be all right. Next up, Vikings-Jets. 3-2-1 Vikings against the 3-3 three three Jets. This might sound like a bit of an upset, but I'll take the New York Jets in this game. I think their defense has been playing okay enough to win football games against a team that's been hit or miss recently and I think the Jets offense is quite on the lethal side uh, surprisingly I never thought I'd say that but I really <laughs> think the Jets are gonna come out here and kind of punch the Vikings in the mouth and deliver them their third loss of the year and I'm trying to focus so I can overthrow my receiver and get intercepted but uh, next up we're gonna talk about the Panthers and the Eagles three and two Panthers three and three Eagles um, this game's gonna be close I don't think either team is particularly good but both have beaten the New York Giants so I don't know what that tells you uh, but I'm going to take the Panthers in this game I think that they have the ability to win a long drawn out game and I don't think that the Eagles have quite found their groove I think the only reason why people think they're so great 
It's because they had a, a good game against the worst team in professional football, so I'll take the Panthers. Next up, Browns, Buccaneers, 2-3-1 versus 2-3. I'm going to take the Browns in this game. I like Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns a hell of a lot more than I like Jameis Winston and his funky bunch. Next up, Saints-Ravens. What a game that's going to be. Uh, it should realistically turn into a defensive battle if the, the Saints can kind of figure out their defensive ineptitudes. That's a fun buzzword for you, ineptitudes. So I'm going to take the Saints in this game. You know, all things considered, I probably shouldn't, but I will. Speaking of things I shouldn't do, run that fake punt. But uh, I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints in this game. I think they're just a better unit all around. Nice, I just picked up a free first down. <laughs> so, it'll be the Cowboys and the Redskins up next. And I'm going to take the Redskins in this game. They kind of found an offense under Alex Smith. And the Cowboys, I think, got a real big fluke win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I think they'll come crashing back down to reality while getting whomped on by the Washington Redskins. Next up, it'll be the Rams, the 49ers, the only undefeated team in the league versus a 1-5 team. So you know who I'm picking. My second favorite, well, I can't even say that anymore, but they're my pick to win it all this year. They're my team that I'm going to be uh, rooting for for the rest of the year. It'll be the L.A. Rams. I just cannot not pick the Hollywood Rams in this game against the lowly 49ers. The Rams 6-0 for the first time since 01 when they went to the Super Bowl. I don't know what that tells you, but they're the greatest show on turf or grass. I'll tell you that much right now. Next up. Sunday Night Football on NBC, the game you're watching. Right now, the Cincinnati Bengals travel to Can... I'm gonna, I almost said Candlestick. Travel to the Chiefs' kingdom <laughs> to battle the Kansas City Chiefs. And this game's going to be fun. I think the Bengals are really underrated, and the Chiefs are obviously one of the best teams in football, led by probably the best young quarterback in the game. So I'm going to... You know what? This is so hard. But I'm going to take the... Uh, oh, there we go. I'm going <laughs> to take the Chiefs in this game. I think that they'll just edge out over the Bengals, and I hope we get a great game so that way people don't you know, necessarily blame the loss on Andy Dalton. So I'll take the Chiefs in this game. Next up, Monday Night Football, ESPN, the New York Football Giants at 1-5 versus the Atlanta Hotlanta Falcons at 1, excuse me, 2-4. And, and God, a pathetic matchup between two teams who are absolutely loaded with talent on offense that can't seem to find their groove however i think the uh the falcons you know they've got that kind of they got that ro rapport excuse me with their quarterback receivers and that's a good thing and the giants don't even have a starting quarterback anymore i don't consider eli manning to be a human being in <laughs> anymore because i hate him but I'm going to take the Falcons in this game. I think they'll probably end up walking all over the Giants, and that's going to be sad. But uh, I'm going to take the Falcons in this game because I want to be right in my predictions. I'm not always going to pick my favorite team, so I'll, I'll take the Falcons in this game. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A quick little run-through of everything I think is going to happen here in Week 7. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. That's going to do it for me, ya boy hobo. I will catch you guys next week for week eight predictions when i get to go to another new york giants game for the second time this year pray for me but yeah thank you all for watching that's gonna do it for me boy hobo and i'll catch you guys in the next video